Hey, so I'm going to show you guys real quick how to get the content of a file in PowerShell and then do stuff with that content. So first we need to get the content and you use the command like get content. Pretty simple. And then you give it a file name. And I'm going to use the play-by-play -play data from an online MMORPG that I play. And when I run it, get content puts it on the console screen for me and you'll see that it's just a bunch of text data lots of text data so imagine that I wanted to find uh, all the plays that somebody recorded in assist in the game uh, as you can see scrolling through this thing and looking for it would probably be pretty mundane and waste a lot of time but if I put this content in a variable then I can do stuff with it. So I'm going to make a variable called content and I'm going to say assign it to that variable. So I run that and now I have a, a variable called content with all that content in it. And this is actually a, uh, a multi-line variable. There's, there's different holders in here for each line. Uh, so if I run that, that's the first line that's the second line, that's the third line, that's the fourth line. So uh, there's different compartments in that variable for each line. So what I want to do is I want to say take the content of that variable and pass it to the for each. And what that will do is it will go through each item in that variable object. Uh, and every item is a line so it'll go through that variable line by line and I want it to go through that variable line by line and if one of those lines in the current line if it's like assist double quotes Okay, so, oh, let me fix that, then I'll finish this, then I'll explain it, right, the line, okay, so I'm saying for each one of those items, or each one of those lines, if the line, uh, has the word assist in it and I'm using wildcards on either side just because sometimes they are displayed as assisted or assists so I'm saying if you find the word assist even if there's any other characters or letters on either side I want that line um, and this variable here is the current item uh, so as it's going through each one of those lines this variable will change and it will become uh, whatever the next line is or whatever the current line is I mean so it's gonna go through each of those it's gonna look for assist and then if it finds assist on that line it's gonna write that line so let's run this and you'll see here I have all the lines with the word assist in them so credited with the assist was assisted uh, so it grabs everything now that would have been a pain to go through all those lines in that file and figure it out we actually could even um, figure out how many lines are in there count there's 530 lines did you also notice how easy it was for me to figure that out all I had to do was go to the variable put a period and then I have all these other options that I can work with uh, properties and methods so this is a property called count which counts the number of items in there and each of those lines as I said before is an item so when you run it you get the count so that's how you can pull content from something and put it in a variable and then work with content so thanks for watching